Hey, we're the ACM staff, and you're, you're watching, watching LBTV. Why do you think this is going to be good on April 7th, this new uh, combination we got going on in the ACM Awards? Uh, yeah, Why well, would we you just, assume that it's, it's going to be, be good? Yeah, it's, that's, you know, thank you for wishing that positively. What are you guys looking forward to about hosting with each other on April 7th? I'm not looking forward to hosting with you, <laughs> if that's what you're asking. I'm a country man, a city boy can do the things I can. Hey y'all, it's Luke. I will, I will. This is Blake Shelton checking. See he's talking to Miranda. This what? is Blake. He's I'm tweeting. He's having phone sex with Miranda right now. No, I'm I'm, I'm having phone tweet sex with millions of people. <laughs> we are shooting promotional shots for hosting the ACMs. That's what we're doing. Luke has managed to memorize uh, at least two lines uh, so far, which is, yeah. I'm impressed. I, I mean, we're already a little bit ahead of, of where I thought yeah, we would be with, with uh, being able to say, hi, I'm Luke Bryan. We're hosting the ACM Awards with the biggest names in country music and once in a lifetime performances live from Vegas, Sunday, April 7th. Only CBS. Why do I have to do all the work? Because you're in the new guy. Yeah, I mean, I was like, oh my God, I, I, I got wasn't it. expecting that. And you, and you read it. You yes. had read that off the teleprompter. Yeah. Hi, y'all. I'm Blake Shelton. You know, a lot of you have heard rumors about Luke Bryan being my co host on the ACM Awards. Well, nothing is set in stone. Did you tell him our new word for us as a couple? Bluke? Bluke. It's Bluke here. Um, Luke, has Blake given you any advice about this? Because he's done yeah, this just twice on our show. I gave you some advice. Uh, he, he said, "Don't plant your corn in the spring. Don't play leapfrog with a unicorn." Ooh, yeah. Yeah, Grant that was about all the advice I got uh, mm -hmm. out of him. I guess if I was going to give Luke uh, a little bit of encouragement or any advice uh, uh, going into this award show thing, is uh, man, there's still time to get out of this. And nobody's gonna look down on you. You can't. Nobody's gonna fault you for doing the right thing, uh, buddy. I think you're in a little bit over your head, and I'm, well, they probably didn't tell you uh, that you actually have to read uh, to be able to do this. So yeah, Blake's doing good. I'm not learning anything, but uh, we're talking hunting. Look on a scale of one to ten. Uh, uh, with, of Luke doing his uh, liners and, and uh, his commercials today, I. I'd give Luke a 10. I really would. I mean, uh, 10's the worst, right? You know, in Luke's case, if I wanted to mess with him and, and derail his performance, I think the best thing I'd do is just stay out of his way. Uh, it will be a disaster. You know, any time, you know, when you're replacing a great like Reba, you know, it's always a little, little daunting and a little tough. But, uh, you know, all you can do is just prepare and get up there and do the best you can. And, and uh, I think the fans will enjoy it. Their country music's hottest new couple. Where's Miranda? Don't you get it? We're the new couple. Me and you. Without Reba McIntyre, uh, it, the show will be different, but in a bad way. <laughs> we need to get one of those uh, celebrity names, like uh, Bluke. Stop. In a co-hosting situation, you need somebody uh, to pivot off of, you know, and, and that you can count on, which is why this year I, I feel like I really got screwed over uh, because the ACM just looks for, you know, whoever's getting the hottest current country airplay at the moment, and, oh, he'd be a great host, and nobody, nope. nobody researches to see, you know, can this guy read, can he memorize. Scene 702, take one, marker. This business is, is amazing to me, and, and it truly is something that, that I'm having so much fun with. You know, as a kid in a small town, a lot of your dreams were happening on that stage and a lot of your music that spoke to you was going on on that stage. I'll be the dream that keeps you away. I'll be the song on your radio. 
my first award show I ever went to was the ACM Awards, and it was, you know, seven or eight years ago when Reba was hosting it. And when she walked out, I was up in the nosebleeds. And I mean, I just had tears running down my face because I just couldn't even believe I was in the room, you know. And that's how I still feel. I still can't believe that I'm in the game, in the room, you know, getting to have so much fun in this career, in this life, and having fun with the fans and trying to put out good music. I mean, this, this makes it more real when you uh, start doing all the promo stuff. It's, you know, you start realizing, wow, yeah, this is, this is happening and this is going on, so it's uh, pretty cool stuff. I mean, to be, first of all, hosting the ACMs is, the, you know, and then to be up for Entertainer of the Year. The, these are things that, that are, you know, you move to town with goals that are attainable. And then you just throw a couple of unattainables into, into those wish lists just because you feel like you ought to. And, and at this point in my career, I'm in, I'm in the cherry on the tops and, the, and the, just the, the craziness of goals. I mean, to, uh, to be up for Entertainer of the Year is um, just something that, that I could have only dreamed. And it's truly an amazing situation in my life. And I, I could say I've never been more honored to be nominated for something. In addition to hosting together, you guys both are nominated for Entertainer of the Year. Um, is there any kind of good natured rivalry going on between the two of you because you're both up for that award? Well, I can honestly say that if I don't win, I really hope that Luke doesn't win also. And I, I wasn't going to say that, but that would be my new stance. So like the cameras, you know, he's just really, really good in, on the camera. and. Uh, it's, uh, it, you know, I, um, I think about, you this is, this is, uh, go ahead, Blake. Okay. And you're watching LB TV. More messed up. More messed up. I knew that being close to Blake and, and some stuff would rub Sorry. off. A lot of stuff would rub off. And, uh, okay, yeah. Hey. <laughs> Ladies ain't break. Man, that's... Some teeth, buddy. That's some pretty, that's the teeth. That's the teeth that got him the job right, right there. Right there. Vanna White stuff.